a month or so ago, I made this fly. I called it the W Bunny, and it's in a brown trout coloration. But I had a subscriber ask if I could make this fly in a rainbow trout color scheme. So here it is. The hook I'm using is a Gamagatsu B10S in size 2, and the thread is Vivas 140 power thread in olive. Start your thread a quarter of the way down the hook shank, and make a thread base to put the dumbbell eye on. This is a large size lead dumbbell eye. You want a heavy dumbbell here to turn the hook properly. Tie it in with X wraps and under wraps. Then use some glue to keep them from spinning. I'm using bone dry, which is a UV curing resin for this, because I don't like to wait for super glue to dry. Now bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Then make a dubbing loop and put in a loop twister. And move your thread up past the dumbbell to get it out of the way. We will now pull a pinch of pearl ice dub. Then prepare it by pulling it apart in your fingers many times to align the fibers. Then separate the fibers a bit as well. Put this dubbing in the dubbing loop and twist it up. Then make tight wraps with the dubbing halfway to the dumbbell eyes. And pull the fibers rearward with every wrap. Capture the dubbing loop and trim off the waist. To pull out trapped fibers, use a stiff toothbrush or velcro to brush this out. Now make another dubbing loop and prepare some pink ice dub and do the same thing as with your pearl ice dub. But make one wrap over the dumbbell eyes to make it look more bushy. After capturing and trimming the waist, then brush out these fibers as well. This is not necessary, but I like to trim the pink dubbing slightly to create a nice taper. Now we will measure out a white rabbit strip. You want this to extend out about one to one and a half hook shanks length from the back of the hook. Trim at that measurement. Now we will measure where the strip will rest on the hook shank, and then pierce the hide with your hook at that measurement. Take the hook off the vise and push the strip all the way through. Then replace the hook back to the vise. I find it easier to do this next step if you stroke the fur back with wet fingers. You will want to tie the strip down right behind the hook eye. And then trim off any excess hide and tie down tightly. I also find that adding a drop of UV resin or glue at the spot where the hide is through the hook will help keep the hide from riding up or down the hook. Now we will pull out some olive laser dub and prepare it by pulling apart in your fingers. But this time we will clump it all together like so and lay this dubbing on top of the hook and make a few wraps to hold it in place. Then prepare some white laser dub in the same way, but this time use a bit less. Then lay the dubbing on the bottom of the hook and make a few wraps to hold it in place as well. Now pull back the forward facing fibers rearward and make a thread dam in front of them to keep them aligned towards the back. I like to then separate the fibers a bit at the head, and this will help cover some of the thread wraps. Then pull the fibers rearward again and tie up slightly onto the fibers. Now whip finish your fly. The white dubbing is sometimes a bit too long, and if so, just pinch it off so it's slightly longer than the ice dub. Then pick out all your fibers with the bodkin and ensure they are evenly spanned on either side of the hook. Cement the head of the fly to make sure it stays together through multiple hookups. Rainbow trout have spots, so I take a brown sharpie and make random spots on top of the fly. 
and on both sides. And your fly is now finished. Okay, so my wife and I bought a house, and we were in the middle of a move, and I didn't have time to do any underwater footage for this fly. So here is the underwater footage of the same fly in the baby brown coloration, and the movement will be the same. Obviously, with the heavy weight at the head of the fly, the fly will have a nice jigging action. Also, with it swimming hook point up, it will be more snag resistant when fishing on or close to the bottom. And utilizing rabbit fur, the fly will still flow nicely when making even strips, rather than just jigging. This fly is great for bass, or even large trout, basically any fish that preys on small rainbow trout. Well thanks for watching, please check the description section for a list of materials I used on this fly. I will see you on the next video, now you go catch some fish.